Animals on this planet have developed many complicated relationships with other species. Certain species work together to avoid predators, and some predator species will even work together to catch their prey. In today's video, I will be focusing on animals that really seem to hate each other, but I won't be including your standard predator-prey relationships. Instead, I will be focusing on animals that hate each other because they fight over space and food. And for our first two animals, we can head over to Africa. Famously, the hippo is one of the most dangerous creatures in Africa, and it takes the lives of hundreds of people a year. After elephants and rhinos, the hippo is the next largest land mammal, and it's certainly not a species to be messed with. Very few predators will mess with an adult hippopotamus, but some species will target their young. Lions and hyenas are known to try their luck, and so will Nile crocodiles. The Nile crocodile is once again one of the most dangerous creatures in Africa, and it's the deadliest crocodilian in the world. It kills far more people than the larger saltwater crocodile, and it'll even take down bull sharks to enter fresh waters. These crocodiles are thought to claim the lives of hundreds of people each year, and this species is an enemy to the hippo. In the winter months, it's not uncommon to see hippos and Nile crocodiles in close proximity to each other. It almost seems as though they get on, and there's no animosity between the two species. This of course all changes in the dry season, when the water levels start to drop. Hippos are far more aggressive in the water, and they become very territorial towards other animals, their own species, and boats. They will happily charge anything that gets too close, and mothers are very protective of their offspring. This leads to massive clashes between the two species, and in some cases the crocodiles are torn apart. African waters are some of the most dangerous waters in the world in the dry season, and these two animals are the main reason behind this. For our next two creatures, we can stay in Africa, but their battle is also fought in some parts of Asia. That's because our first group of animals are the mongooses, and these animals are known for being very feisty for their size. Mongooses are usually split into two subfamilies, and these subfamilies have a combined 33 species. They can be found in southern Europe, Africa, and Asia, and they can come in many different shapes and sizes. For this section, I could include quite a few different mongoose species, but I will mostly be focusing on the yellow mongoose and the banded mongoose. These two species share a common enemy, and this enemy is snakes. Many small to medium-sized mammals across Africa and Asia have to fear snakes, and they are one of the mongoose's top predators. These snakes are often highly venomous, and the cobras are some of the mongoose's most bitter enemies. As cobras will often enter mammal burrows and feed on young rodents, adult rodents and mongooses are often very hostile towards cobras. They will often work together to scare them away, and in some instances, mongooses will kill and eat cobras. Mongooses are not completely immune to snake venom, but some species do have some tolerance to it. This means that they can take a bite or two, and for some individuals, this is all the protection that they need. They will pester the snakes until they're exhausted, and then they will go in for the final blow. It's believed that when these two animals come together, the mongoose wins the majority of the time, and this just shows us how impressive these small mammals really are. For our next battle, we can head over to the Indian subcontinent, as the first species we will be taking a look at is the sloth bear. The sloth bear is possibly the strangest bear species out there, and it's often a species that's underestimated. Unlike some other bear species, it doesn't target medium to large sized animals, and instead it mostly feeds on fruits, ants, and termites. This is why it's got quite a long lower lip, as this comes in very handy if you want to suck up insects. The sloth bear's closest relatives are the Asiatic black bears and sun bears, but they do live quite a different life to these two species. As this bear doesn't feed on a large amount of meat, you might make the mistake of thinking that it's not a very dangerous species. This couldn't be further from the truth, as the sloth bear is extremely aggressive, and it's thought that they kill around a dozen people per year. They have very large canine teeth for an animal that mostly feeds on insects, and their aggressive behaviour is a result of them sharing a habitat with many dangerous creatures. Possibly the most dangerous of these creatures is the tiger, and sloth bears and tigers really don't get on. Tigers usually give sloth bears a wide berth, as they are surprisingly fierce fighters. 
Some larger specimens, on the other hand, will actually hunt sloth bears. But sloth bears are far from being an easy meal. The tigers will often wait for them by termite mounds, before creeping up behind them and targeting their necks. This strategy doesn't always go to plan, but usually only sloth bears perish due to these fights. Sloth bears have learnt to be fearful of the sounds that the tigers make, and they've even become fearful of deer calls as tigers are known to mimic these calls to attract deer. You could argue that this relationship is the most straightforward relationship on this list as the tigers will prey on the bears. But as the bears put up such a good fight, some tigers will avoid areas with large bears. So even though this fight is a bit one-sided, you'd be a fool to mess with either species. For our final battle, we can head back over to Africa, as our next species is the lion. Lions are native to Africa and India, and they're famous for being one of the few cats that are found in social groups. Female lions often hunt together, feeding on large ungulates, and even though some lions have been known to hunt humans, they do not actively seek out and prey on humans. They are one of the top land predators in Africa, but this does not mean that their life is stress-free. Lions often come into conflict with other predators in Africa, and the predator they seem to hate the most is the spotted hyena. The spotted hyena is one of four hyena species, and it's a very misunderstood creature. It's not closely related to dogs as some people think, and it's actually a very efficient hunter. They are often portrayed in media as being scavengers, but hyenas actually hunt more than lions do. Where spotted hyenas and lions occupy the same geographic area, the two species occupy the same ecological niche. Because of this, they often come into conflicts with each other, and their dietary overlap can be as high as 68.8%. Generally, lions will ignore hyenas, but if they're on a kill, they will attack or harass them. It's a common misconception that hyenas steal lots of meals from lions, and instead, in most cases, it's the other way around. Lions will happily steal kills from hyenas, and the hyenas will often wait nearby for the lions to finish. When hyenas greatly outnumber lions, they can force them off of kills, and sometimes lone lions are picked off by groups of hyenas. In some places where the tension is so high between these two species, they may act aggressively towards each other even when there's no food at stake. Lions may charge at hyenas for no reason at all, and lion predation can account for up to 71% of hyena deaths in certain national parks. This just shows us how much these two species really do hate each other, and competition is the main reason behind this hatred. Of course, there are plenty of other species that could have made it in this video, so if you know of any, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.